Tell me more about your thinking about whether we see a recession in the US. Yeah, so our base case expectation is not for a recession. Um, we do expect continued monetary tightening. Um, but like Jay Powell acknowledged last week at the ECB conference in Sintra, a deceleration in growth is expected and there is a hope that growth remains pos positive, but that is not guaranteed. And so you may well see a technical recession, but what really matters when you're thinking about the investment landscape and opportunities in fixed income sectors is the magnitude and, and sort of the characteristics of that recession. Are you expecting to see any softening in the U.S. labor market? Gerfried, we've got uh, payroll data out later on this week, and I know for some people that's going to be a key, key area to watch. Yeah, what's interesting is that central bank tightening is occurring against the backdrop that was already showing signs of a moderation in growth, particularly in the industrial sector. And we've now had this cost of living squeeze that's going to start to impact the services side of the economy. Yet central banks have now started to dial up hawkish rhetoric. And the Fed, for example, is expected to deliver another 75 basis points rate hike this month. We would say that what central banks are trying to engineer is a degree of soft in the labor market. They want to slow the labor market to the extent that companies shelve new hiring plans but don't necessarily engage in large-scale layoffs. Um, we'd say that there's so much uncertainty, we're going to have to monitor the data closely. The expectations for this year is for the unemployment rate to remain stable but for the pace of job gains to moderate. Mm. We have seen, talking of moderating, we have seen some energy prices moderating a little bit, at least uh, since earlier, since highs earlier on this year, Gerpreet. Are you seeing signs that those higher energy prices that we were talking about are actually, um, you know, ki killing, killing off themselves, if you like, or demand destruction? Are you seeing that coming through in any sectors? Well, with the energy sector, I would say there, there is a long-term inflation story at play due to decarbonisation. So greening the economy is going to lift inflation through um, higher commodity prices, but also the magnitude of investment needed could lift aggregate demand and inflation. And then as it relates to fossil fuels, we've had years of structural undersupply. High fossil fuel prices are set to persist, given the global economy is still more than 80% powered by fossil fuels until that changes that is going to be inflationary and central bankers like ECB's President Lagarde acknowledged that last week. Where we do see signs of improvement in inflation is on the supply side issues front. And so supplier delivery times in the PMI data is starting to moderate. And in the hoped for um, soft landing scenario, goods prices start to come down due to normalizing demand, but also improvements in supply chains. And so it's encouraging to see that.